So we're up at Darwin Tower, which is situated on the Darwin Moors, highest point for miles around, very exposed location. We started out with a rake out, grout and repoint uh, project, uh, and then we've had works to the asphalt decks, fixing uh, issues that were apparent there, uh, and we've done repainting works to the dome, which has been vandalised. So previously it had been repointed with a sand and cement mortar, which it's not the product to be used on a, on a building like this. It was built with a lime mortar, so it should be pointed with a lime mortar. On the iron staircase here, uh, we've had to have this uh, bespoke handrail installed. Uh, the original one was broken in, in, in multiple places, so it wasn't salvageable. So we've had to replace it in its entirety, which again was a difficult task due to this being quite an old staircase. All the pillars was all at different heights. So nothing was straightforward on this, but that's in place now and it looks really well. We're up at the top of the tower now with the dome. This was quite heavily vandalised, but a lot of bare metal showing that had been scratched off in the past. So we've prepped that down and that's had five coats of paint. Also the, the perspex to it had been damaged, so that's all been replaced. The perspex was actually provided free of charge by Perspex, so we were a local company to Darwin. So that was a nice gesture of them. Uh, it just gives it a new lease of life and looks a lot better. The tower's very important to the local people. It's, it's, it's a monument, it's like a shining beacon to the, to the surrounding area. You can see it from all over, so the public have taken a great deal of interest in it. So it's important that we get it right for them. Uh, it's been a very challenging project due to its exposed location and uh, just getting materials and scaffolding to the site was a real task in itself but it's one we've overcome and we're proud to have completed it. Yeah.